Now, once you have your Eclipse up and running, it's time to configure Tomcat. So before configuring Tomcat, first you have to make sure that you have downloaded Tomcat and we don't have it yet, right? So let's go back to the browser and search for Tomcat download. Now it, it will take you the official website of Tomcat. So let's go for the versions. Now you can see we have getting option of Apache Tomcat 7, Apache Tomcat 8. I would choose 8 here and you can see we have certain versions. Now this is 8.5.24 and the below one is 8.0. I prefer the complete version. So 8.0 is something which I will be using here. You can also use 8.5, nothing wrong with that. Now in this, which one to select? Again, depend upon your OS, I would select uh, tar.zz because it, it works on Mac perfectly. So I will click on this one and it will download the software. And then you also need documentation. Now, why we need a source code here, uh, that we'll see later, but time being, we got these two softwares. One is the, the Tomcat and the documentation. Oh, we have to, to click on that as well. So it will download the documentation as well. Now, I have those things here. So if you can see, I have the so setup for Tomcat and the source code as well. Time will, let's not think about the source code, think about this Tomcat, double click this one and it will unzip and it will give you the unzipped version of Tomcat. Can you see that? We got Tomcat here. But how do we use it? Of course, we can use it on command line or terminal, but then we want to configure that to Eclipse. So go back to Eclipse and now you can see in the server tab. Now, maybe you will not see a tab there on your machine. How do we get it? So in case if you don't find this tab here, just go to window and say show view, click on servers. It will show you the tab there. Now we have a Tomcat downloader. We just need to connect it. Now, how do we do that? Just click on this one. Now it will ask you which software you want to connect or which server you want to connect. So click on Apache and you can see it shows a lot of versions. This is the old version. Let's click 8.0. Click on next. And then it will ask you for the location where you have your Tomcat. So click on browse and move to the location there. So I came to a folder where I have my Tomcat. Can you see that this folder? Double click that and click on open. So there's no error. Click on finish. And this is how you link your Eclipse with Tomcat. But you're still not sure will it work. Now how do you verify if your Tomcat is perfectly working? Right click here and say start. Now if it is getting started perfectly, you can see it says started. That means your Tomcat is properly configured and it is working. But maybe sometime it will not work. Now when I say sometime, there might be different issues. Uh, one of the most common issue is the port number which Tomcat is running on is used by someone else. Maybe you already have a HTTP server in your machine, let's say a XAM server, let's say some, some other server which is using the same port number. Now which port number I'm talking about, so if I double click here, this is the port number which is used by Tomcat which is 8080, which is uh, the HTTP port number. Now if you have any software which is using this port number then your Tomcat will not start. Now in that scenario what you will do is you will double click here and you will change your port number. You can change your port number, you can make it 8081. So now your Tomcat will run on 8081 if you save this. But I, do, I don't want to do that. I will say I'm happy with 8080. So since it is working on my machine, I will not play with that. Now, how do we access or how do we use Tomcat here? So what we can do is you can just go to localhost and type colon 8080. Now before hitting enter, what I will do is I will go back to my Eclipse and I will, I will stop the server just to see if I, if I don't have the server there. So if I stop it and after stopping it, if I go back to browser and if I say enter, it will give you an error. It says the site cannot be reached because of course you don't have this port number running here. Now, if I say start, let's see what we get. So if I say start here and go back to the browser and say enter, now can you see that we got a different error. It says the page not found, but that's fine. Is it your Tomcat working? Yes, can you see that? The response is you got it from Tomcat. That means this URL is hitting the Tomcat. That's what we wanted to check. But you can also get the amazing homepage of Tomcat if you do one more setting. Uh, you can see in this server location, you can also choose use Tomcat installation. It will show you the uh, server page. If I go back here, okay, we have to restart the server, right click and restart. This is how you restart the server and go back to your browser. I hope it will show you the homepage of Tomcat. Yeah, I can see that we got the page. Now in which you can, you can use these options as well if you want to deploy any application. But this, this is for only uh, seeing stuff because since, since we are using Eclipse, we'll be deploying everything from the Eclipse. You don't have to use this page anymore, but it's your choice. You can use it. So your Tomcat is working. Your Tomcat is up and running.
Now the next step would be how to create a project and how to test or how to basically print hello world on the page. That's what we're doing in the next video.